And let's be honest, we all got a pair of jeans that we just don't use anymore. It went from black to gray. Those jeans cannot be in the closet anymore because in today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how you guys can be able to dye your pants at home with zero experience and bring those faded jeans back to life. Oh. Hold up, what's up ladies and gentlemen? My name is Robert Gomez. In this channel, I create men's fashion, men's hair, dating tips, and also overall videos that can help you guys feel sexy and amazing. If that sounds good to you, consider subscribing guys. Hit the like button, show some brothers some love. And now let's get this video started. But before we hit the intro, let's go, I'll be back in a bit. All the products we're gonna use in this video are very simple and very cost effective. And it's also way cheaper than buying a new pair of black jeans. I'm not nobody to say, but you just can't be throwing your money like that. Buying another pair of jeans when you could just revive the ones you guys have. Just dye them, make them look amazing like when you first bought them. Hey, you know, we all wanna save a couple bucks. Now, let me show you guys the ingredients you're gonna need in order to dye your pants. The main product you will need is a dyeing solution. The one I'm using is this all purpose liquid dye from Rit. If you want your pants to be a dark, deep black, the next ingredient you need is salt. The salt will allow the dyeing solution to be applied much easier to the material of your jeans, making your jeans much darker. If you guys want to know an explanation of how the salt actually will help in this tutorial, I'll leave an article down in the description below. So if you're interested, hit the link. Now, the last ingredient we will need is something that we literally all have around our house. It's dish detergent. Now that we know what we need, I will be listing these products down in the description below. So if you're very interested in purchasing them, go in the description, click the link, and purchase a product, and let's get ready to dye our damn pins. I'll meet you guys in the kitchen. Bye, Manu. What's up? Now we're here in my kitchen. Now that we know exactly what we're going to need, there's only one little thing we're going to need. It's a pot. And we're going to pour about one gallon of water in the pot. For those that want to be very exact and a little bit more accurate, I do have a scale, a kitchen scale that I will be measuring exactly how much ounces of water you will need. I'm going to be grabbing a baking bowl and I'm going to add that baking bowl in top of the scale before I turn it on. Now that the scale is on, now we're going to start measuring the water. If you want to have it exact, you could do it this way. Let me go open the sink and I'm going to add that water into the bowl and as you see in order to get a gallon it has to be 128 ounces cool we're gonna turn on our stove to the highest settings and now you want to add the water into the pot make sure you're gonna have the highest temperature the reason you want to do that is just because you want it to heat up a little bit more faster but you do not want it boiling you want to put your hand in there and not burn your hand so so no warm not hot warm now that the water reached to a desirable temperature we're going to add the water into the sink let's grab the all-purpose liquid dye from RIT and we're gonna apply the entire bottle into the sink with the pan. You're also gonna need one cup of salt. It's gonna seem like a lot of salt, but trust me, if you add this salt, this is gonna make this process much easier and it will make your pants way more darker. And lastly, we're just gonna add a little bit of soap. Cool, now that we have the dye, we have the salt, we have the warm water, now the last thing is remaining is, well, the jeans. Let's submerge the jeans in the actual solution with the water. So if you do want your pants to be extremely dark, you could leave it about 30 minutes, but if for those that want the pants really, really dark, leave them for about an hour. So if you chose 30 or an hour, don't forget you will have to occasionally be staring and moving around the solution just to make sure the jeans properly are soaked because if you leave it submerged on one and the top part is not getting the solution, only the part that it's submerged is gonna get the solution and it's gonna make the pants dark. So you wanna occasionally be moving it, so just make sure you're using gloves. I didn't realize my glove had an actual hole. My entire finger, this one, literally this one, got dyed bitterly black. Now that the pants been sitting for 30 to an hour, now the last Last step is, well, you know, rinse. We're gonna do manual labor. But for those that don't wanna do manual labor, well, too sad, because you're gonna have to do it. So, I'm rinsing off the pants. It will take a while for the dye to be completely off of the jeans. So just be very patient, keep working them hands. So you wanna do that until the water is completely clear. And then, we're gonna move on to the next step. Since my apartment does not have a washer or a dryer, I will have to go to the actual laundry room, wash your pants, but make sure you wash them in cold water. So just make sure you switch the settings to cold water. Now that your washer is done washing your jeans, the next step is obviously toss them to the dryer or the second method will be for those that don't have a dryer, grab a chair, put the jeans and let them dry overnight. And that's the end of the results. Ooh, it looks amazing. I'm telling you guys, follow this tutorial. You'll make your pants look like brand new real quick. It does take a little bit of time, but if you put in that time, ooh, they'll come out badass. So don't waste your money on buying brand new jeans. Okay, dale. And now let's go rock the world. If you guys like this video and you learn 
learn something today well hit that like button what you guys waiting for hit the subscribe button and don't forget hit that notification button so you can get notified each time i post a video i just got one thing to say look sexy feel good and be amazing ladies and gentlemen all right guys so now i gotta get going so i'll see you guys in the next video and have an amazing day guys let's go Woo!